Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about something that's been talked about for a long time on Facebook and how to make monograms in this circle pattern. And I've tried it many times just by drawing it, and, and I found a site today that you might really like. It's, I'm not going to list the, uh, the uh, link on how to get here, but it's just markandgram.com. So it's like markandgram.com will get you a page, and then you need to go deal to find, to get to the monograph, monogram maker. And then you would cursor through these arrows to find what kind of monogram you'd like. And here's the one that most people would want to use, I would think. And then you just draw, put in your initials. And it does not monogram. Now, I have tried to have them email me, because if you share this, they're going to ask for your email address. I don't know what they're going to do with email or if they're even going to charge because they're going to just send you this file, I would think, because they're not asking for any money. But I don't know what they're And I've actually tried one of my emails that I don't use very much that I don't care if it's got spam, but I couldn't get them to send me anything. So all you could do is take this same monogram and, and left click on it watch it not work now for me maybe move it around one time right click on it save picture as monogram uh, such such number it's a PNG file under my pictures and it saved it now we're going to go back to Corel draw and we're going to import and there it is right there And I always bring it up to yellow. I always have a yellow box and I'm going to show you. So it's not a per it's a PNG, so it's not perfect. It's a little fuzzy. But you can try it a couple of ways. You can try to turn it into a bitmap. Black and white. Hit OK. That looks OK. And then go to trace. And a lot of, a lot of your traces will be under bitmap under here. Outline. I'm going to use clip art this time. Reduce bitmap. Let it let Corel Draw trace it for you. And sometimes bitmapping is not necessary. And so we'll see. And then when it's done, you just hit OK. Your your copy, your trace copy should be on top. So just move it out of the way. And there it is. It's pretty clean. It's got a little bit of jagged edges, but this could be very easily cleaned up. And I actually think it did a better job without bit mapping it. So let's back up here. There's our image that is a uh, PNG. So we're back to that. So we're not going to bit map it this time. We're just going to outline trace it. Still going to use clip art. And let's see what happens this time. Now in this particular image, it did it about the same. And as you can see, when the reason I use yellow, is it's got a bunch of white still in the background. It actually traced a little bit better. So you, all you could do is go on group and then just click on your D and set your nudge factor pretty high. And now they're all the same and it's taking away the background and there's you a pretty sharp it could this particular one could be cleaned up a little bit with the shape tool you know it's got some nodes right there you could just take away and make a straighter line i would take away all the nodes that aren't really necessary just to make sure they're straighter line but that's a better easier faster logo or monogram and then then you would just want to group it all together control g and you would have so it worked twice for me just now, and hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.